Good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Vermont Roberts. Uh, I am the former principal of Saginaw High School uh, from 2011 through 2015. And I am currently the assistant superintendent for human resources and labor relations for Saginaw Public Schools. My name is Mitt Foley, principal of Arthur Hill High School. Hello, my name is Sandra Robinson. I'm the assistant principal here at Saginaw High School. Hi, my name is Lisa Coney, and I'm the project manager for the Safe Schools Healthy Students Initiative for Saginaw Public School District. My name is Melissa. I am the program director of Prevention and Youth Services. Yes, I'm Jason Otter. I'm currently the health teacher at Saginaw Arthur Hill with the Saginaw Public School System. Hi, I'm Tiffany Pruitt. I'm the former Safe and Supportive Schools building liaison at Saginaw High School. I'm currently the parent, family, and community engagement specialist for Saginaw Public Schools. Hi, I'm Coach Alvin Sanders for Arthur Hill High School Girls Varsity Basketball. My name is Dana Houston. I am the Outreach Education Coordinator at Underground Railroad. Hello, my name is Roxanne Chantaka, and I am a choir and Spanish teacher here at Arthur Hill High School. Hi there. Uh, my name is Daniel Zatkowski. I'm the Athletic Director here at Saginaw High. Hi, my name is Linda Davis. I am PAC president at Arthur Hill High School. I have four children that attend here. Hi, my name is Mary Hines and I'm the cafeteria manager for Arthur Hill High School. Hi, I'm Jenny McGregor. I'm the social worker at Arthur Hill High School. Hi, my name is Eric Poole, a campus patrol officer here at Arthur Hill High School. In my previous role as the principal of Saginaw High School, uh, my role was one of support to the school-based health center. Um, the school-based health center, center was instrumental um, in having an impact on the culture and climate um, of our students uh, and ultimately um, staff and the entire school body. My role in partnership with the school-based health center is uh, twofold. Um, first of all, we um, provide services and supports for the Teen Advisory Council students and also with um, providing mental health services with the school-based school health center social worker um, that's providing uh, mental health uh, supports and services for a number of our students who are not being seen by the school district's um, social worker. I believe that having a school-based health center in the school has improved the school climate, uh, especially with the Teen Advisory Council and other awareness programs that they have made available to the students. Students feel comfortable in going down there if they aren't feeling well, if they need to talk to someone, and mainly a lot of things times when they're not feeling well. The partnership between Safe and Supportive Schools and the School-Based Health Center was a great marriage. Um, we were able to combine and collaborate our teen advisory councils together. Um, in order to impact the school culture and climate, um, to promote uh, health and safety, health issues. Um, and it was an awesome marriage because it helped us sustain what we were trying to do with our school culture and climate as it relates to student engagement. Well, I'll tell you, it's a great blessing in the skies because they help us to help our athletes get their physicals. Currently, the health center um, is pretty involved with our health classes here at Dr. Hill. Um, they come in, they do some presentations al along with me, and they also help collaborate um, other health agencies in the community. Our partnership with the School Based Health Center um, has really helped PACE be able to reach more students inside of the school. It also helps us to have a trust with the youth and with the staff here at Saginaw High much faster than we would have if we had to develop the relationship on our own. So I am a I am the prevention educator at Underground Railroad. So we partner with these school-based health centers by coming in and delivering a four-week curriculum. Um, we also work with the staff in the school-based health center to do training on just kind of warning signs and things to look for when working with students who might be in a, possibly in an abusive relationship. The partnership that I have with the school-based health center is a great one because we have. Um, a social worker there and whenever she's not available um, we help each other out you know so we're able to work together and have a really good working relationship not just with the social worker but with the nurse as well. I've had the pleasure to work with our school based health center here at Arthur Hill High School um, on various different occasions anytime there's something that um, the, the school based health center is promoting 
uh, monthly just for students to be aware of. I do like to uh, promote that and, and push the students to get involved with the TAC, our Teen Advisory Council. We have enjoyed having the health services in our building. Children can get free health physicals for their sporting events. If they're not feeling well, we send them right to the health center and they come back and enjoy their visit there and can get the care that they need. And we also work tightly with them in planning healthy meals for their special occasions with their teen advisory council. In my experiences as principal of Saginaw High School, uh, the school-based health center served as a vehicle for our students um, to be able to uh, express some of the unknowns relative to issues with health um, um, as it relates to adolescents. Um, it provided, you know, an, an area for them to explore those issues in health um, and also explore constructive ways of dealing with them. Having the school-based health centers here at Saginaw High School have definitely shaped the school culture and climate as it has helped students make healthy choices as it relates to substance abuse, mental health awareness, um, violence prevention. Uh, I've found that students are more happier and they're more open to talk about issues that impact their lives not only in the school but at home and in the community. I think some of the benefits of having a school-based health center include one, immediate attention. So when our students are feeling well, when they feel as though they aren't or they need attention, that they can get it immediately and this means that they have more educational time because their parents don't have to check them out, then they miss a whole day of school when they can actually go to the school-based health center and a lot of things could be taken care of in a short period of time. I think the school-based health center has made a positive impact on our school climate. Uh, they provide a lot of uh, support services uh, for our students. In addition to uh, providing health care services, uh, they provide uh, counseling-based services. Uh, overall, I think uh, what we're doing with in this building with restorative justice practices, I think the support of the school-based health center has, has complemented those efforts of finding alternative uh, approaches to dealing with student discipline issues and things of that nature. So overall, it's just made a tremendous uh, impact on our school. I believe that the health center has impacted the overall climate of our school. Um, things that used to be taboo, such as teenage sex, teenage pregnancy, STDs, um, relationships are no longer taboo. The students feel free to speak about it and know that there's someone that they can speak about it to. I think the Health Center has done a great job of uh, help create an atmosphere of awareness here at Arthur Hill and they've also done an excellent job of creating an advisory council of students to help hold other students in the building accountable for their health. There are multiple benefits of the school-based health center not only for physical um, illnesses or sicknesses of our students that um, will usually maybe keep them from coming to school, um, their services available on site, um, but for emergency purposes, even for, for staff, and, um, and with the mental health consultation services with the school-based health center social worker, uh, providing those services in the school, um, whereas some other students may not be able to go into the community to get those services. Some of the benefits of having the health center in the school, it's uh, been very helpful. Uh, keeps the truancy rate down. You don't have kids trying to call home and ask them to go home. We can just take them right down to the health center and they can evaluate them and see uh, what's going on. It, it's a good benefit. Uh, I like it and the teachers do too. Uh, they also provide, I think, a very valuable resource for our parents. Um, many who just don't have transportation, they, they don't have the type of access that other folks have, and they, they're able to provide them with uh, information. They participate at, at uh, parent functions that we have. Um, so the level of communication has uh, been tremendous. One of the benefits that's most important to me of having the school-based health center in our school is I have four children here. It, as a parent, it makes me feel better 
to know that if my children are injured, if they're sick, there is somewhere that they can go to get help. One of the major benefits of having a school-based health center here at Saginaw High School, it has helped uh, reduce some of the out-of-school time. Um, a lot of students being called home, calling home because they may be sick, um, but having that source on site to address some of their health issues, um, even some of the mental health um, issues that that are addressed at the school-based health center has also helped improve the attendance rate here at Saginaw High School. Um, it also, having the health educators in the classroom to supplement um, the curriculum that the health teachers are doing has been awesome and it definitely has benefited the students and helped them expand their knowledge as it relates to their health and wellness. Um, and as an agency, through our partnership, um, we've actually been able to provide services to some of the students that way if they had maybe disclosed that they were in an abusive situation and said that maybe they wanted to speak with an advocate, we've been able to get them in for advocacy services, you know, through that connection that they had with the school-based health center. Well, if you know anything about Saginaw High and the health center, they've been very positive and very influential in how our students are behaving their mindset with all kinds of different health issues from peer relationships to sexual relations to violence to I mean basic lifelong life needed necessities and in particular I go back to you know health is a very critical issue for a lot of our students health not only physical health but mental health and so it's been a great partnership here at Saginaw High. Me being a coach I can uh easily take the girls down and get their physical right away. They don't have to wait days or weeks to get in. Um, last spring we had the opportunity to partner together and collaborate in a program where we got to take students from Saginaw High and Arthur Hill to the Detroit Institute of Art and the whole field trip was at no cost to students so it was an excellent life-changing experience for them and um, just love working with the staff. here. Um, at our school-based health center and um, hope that we continue our relationship for years to come. And I really appreciate the partnership that I have with the school-based health center. Um, every day I see the benefits both for students and for staff. Um, working with the social worker, the nurse, the um, coordinators, everybody. Um, we just have a really good working relationship and I really um, could not see um, us effectively working with kids without them. So I appreciate all that they do and the partnership that we have. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it will be helpful that school-based health centers uh, present to uh, building administration and or central office administration uh, ways that they can improve um, the culture and climate of the building, um, but also ways that they can impact um, academic achievement. Um, in my experience, because of the improvements in the culture and climate from the initiatives and the programs and the social activities that the, the school-based health center was conducting in the school, um, consequently, our academic achievement increased. And so ultimately, that's our responsibility as principals and as administrators to make certain that students are learning. Uh, and so it would be my, my suggestion that um, those school-based health centers that have intentions on improving relations with schools or school systems demonstrate to administrators how they're going to impact the overall culture and climate of the building and the overall academic achievement of students. Um, I just recommend that the, you know, the health educators try to establish a relationship with the teacher maybe prior to the school year so it, it's easy to incorporate in their lesson plans and teachers are aware that you know, they're going to be trying to come in and it doesn't disrupt their classes. Um, here at Arthur Hill we, we established that um, right when I took the position and it's just been an easy collaborative working relationship. One piece of advice I could offer is just being aware of the domestic violence, sexual assault type agencies you may have in your area and reaching out to them and inquiring about what types of services that they offer because a lot of times they might already have some kind of program available that does education or outreach like our particular agency does and chances are that you know part of their direction that they're looking to go in is that they're also going to get something out of coming in and working with your students so really reaching out to them you're kind of like benefit, benefiting both agencies by developing that partnership. Collaboration is key. Building relationships with um, with um, your school-based health center is an awesome thing to do because it's only going to benefit you in the long run as you um, can leverage services and resources to impact um, the school as a whole. 
but some of the pieces of advice that I would give to others who have a school-based health center is that one of the biggest things is I believe overall we have a great relationship. Communication is key. That the school-based health center is not just taking up space in a building, but one of the things that I like about the staff here is that they have taken a part and become a part of the school culture and climate, not just space-wise, but they participate in our extracurricular activities and our day-to-day -day activities. They get to know the students, they get to know the staff. And then I think another key component is that the school and the school-based health center should know each other's rules and regulations, what are the parameters, uh, any barriers, so that we can work in conjunction with each other and not against each other. Uh, this answer goes out to all athletic directors and or health centers. If you can form a cooperative team, if you can form a relationship, even if you're afraid of doing that, please do it. It's a benefit. It's a, it's a venue where your student athletes are going to receive more benefits than you can provide alone. Please be aware, they do more than just take care of headaches and band-aids, okay? Partnership with the school-based health center um, in any aspect is a win-win. It's a win-win for our students. It's a win-win for um, our school district. It's a win-win for parents. Um, it's a win-win for staff. Um, it's a great opportunity because they're already in the school system and um, our goal as um, providers of, of health and, and education is, is academic, uh, social emotional health of all of our students. So partnerships, collaboration with School-Based Health Center is a win for everyone. Don't believe me, just watch.